Okay, good morning and happy Tuesday, even though technically it's like a Monday for us. Don't tell me this is dead. My mouse is dead. Yeah, technically it's Monday for us. Charlie has woken up, I think she said with tonsillitis. So I am in here solo. Katie has uni. I'm pretty sure she said on Tuesday. So she can't be in. Anyway, I didn't vlog at all yesterday. And I didn't do anything except come to the warehouse and teach mum how to pack orders because when we're away in the US later on this month, she is going to come and pack the orders. I was actually really surprised with how quickly she picked it up. I feel like the hardest part about packing orders is trying to find the pieces because we've got so many different like variants on the website. But in terms of like the process and like printing off orders and like looking them up and fulfilling them, she got that within like the first half an hour like she was whizzing through but it was just the only thing that she struggled with was obviously locating the pieces which i mean we'll just take time so she's gonna come back on friday eh? because mondays and fridays are the two days that she works for me don't know if you guys know but mum works for me yeah two days a week um she does like all my accounting finances all my invoices for both JHM and Jazz Hand, like she does everything. Like I would be lost without her. Like if she just knows so much about money, it is not funny. She's literally like my EA accountant, financial advisor. My goal for this year is to make her quit her job and get her to work for me full time. And I'm pretty sure I can make that happen, but she just like really enjoys her job where she is now. And I'm just like, yeah, but, who would you rather work for? And I know deep down she would rather work for me, but I guess it's scary, um, you know, leaving a secure job after how many years she's been there. I just went on a tangent. Um, so yeah, I'm in the warehouse alone today. I actually had already printed off all the orders yesterday. So at least that's done. I just need to print off what we got last night. <laughs> This is all from the long weekend. I think there's about 140. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get them done before 12 o'clock. It is currently at nine, I think. Yeah, it's 9.04. Yeah, I'm not as quick as Charlie when it comes to packing orders, so it's okay. Even if I get them done after 12, I can just always like take them to the post office. Anyway, so. this order and it's all in rose gold i have a feeling rose gold is going to come back the bolt that's the moon and then this is the kalia i actually might put mine back in so unique like it um that is meant to sit behind your ear so it looks really cool um and then she just got three different types of huggy so this one's the eight mil that's the 10, and then this is also the 10. This one's the Aphrodite, and then they're both just the Milan Huggies, which is just like plain 14 karat solid gold. So I might actually pop in something extra for her. Actually, I might give her one of these as well. I've got lots of um, Frank Bod samples that they sent us. I've decided I'm gonna give her a rose gold little mini pearl charm, so she can pop that on one of the Huggies. How cute. I'll put it together and I'll show you what it looks like. That's with the pearl charm on. She doesn't have to wear it on the huggy. She can wear it on a necklace, bracelet, 
whatever the loop will fit on but how cute is this order i'm obsessed i'm going to give her a polishing cloth and then some pouches so she can store them inside the pouches i just got banana blossom for lunch i actually ended up getting extra chicken because then I can have it for dinner as well. Because they always give me so much. Like, I feel like one of these is two meals. So, usually I like halve it. Oh my God, how that just looks amazing. Like, look how much noodles I've got. It's just really, really messy. Oh my God. That is heaven. I've got two deliveries that just got delivered to the warehouse. Shit, I think that's on my keyboard. Okay, two deliveries, mainly for our trip. So I got a new phone case because I thought it would go with one of my outfits. So that's just the vibe. It's just the vibe. And it was really cool. You guys know my leopard print obsession. So I got this case, so freaking cute. How cool is that? It's from Wildflower. I used to use their cases ages ago when I was obsessed with angels. And I used to have that cherub, oh, whoa, it's like flimsy vibes. Not like bad quality, but like the case defy one that I use is like hard. Um, and then this one's like, oh my God, Peter's calling me. Oh, you're gonna have to wait. <gasps> so cute. Feels funny cause it's like hollow when you hold it. So cute. And then I caved. I actually wanted to buy this last winter. Well, not. Not that it's winter, but it's obviously getting colder. And it is going to be cold in LA. And I have a grey zip-up jumper that I always wear. It's from H&M. And it was obviously cheap. And it's just like falling apart. Like every time I wash it, I don't know. I'm just kind of like low-key embarrassed to wear it in public. Because it's like, yeah, it's falling apart. I've had it for like three years. So I wanted to invest in a good quality zip-up jacket. So I ended up getting this one from Skimp. I just really hope that I got the correct size, although I'm sure their returns policy will be fine, but it's just a, yeah, gray mall. Oh, it's so soft. Let's do a little try on. Wow, it's so soft. But yeah, I thought I could wear this in the plane, but I like, always wear zip jackets like to Pilates and stuff. a good size oh my god it's so comfy wow so soft yeah i feel like that's a good size i didn't want it like too oversized let me go see what it looks like in the mirror yeah i really like it i just realized there was music on and then i also just got the matching trackies because again the gray trackies that i always wear are cuffed which is not really what i like anyway oh i think these might be a bit big i didn't realize these were going to be like oversized and they're really long but i can always just get them taken up because i am short so um yeah i'll try them on see how they go i don't really like tight um trackies anyway i also bought this 
which I guess is very heavily influenced from TikTok. I see freaking everyone wearing this. And to be honest, I wasn't really sure about it because it's one size. Like I'm aware that they're a small business, but I was like, all these people that I'm seeing them in are like a size six and they look oversized on them, which is the look that I wanted. Like I didn't want a tight fit. So I was really nervous buying it because yeah, I don't know, one size fits all scares the fuck out of me. But it actually is quite giving. It definitely doesn't look as oversized as obviously everyone else because they are a size six, but I probably wouldn't wear it buttoned up. I would wear it with maybe like a tank underneath, but I probably wouldn't wear it done up. Like, I mean, I could do it up, but I don't know. I feel like that, I mean, maybe with like a skirt or something that could look nice, but in terms of the fit, it's actually quite roomy and I'm like a size 10 to 12. But yeah, it is a shame that they only have the one size. I don't know if it's deliberate or if they are just like a small business and, you know, obviously starting a business is expensive. But yeah, maybe they were only able to afford one size. I'm not sure, but. Guess what I just found in my lobby. My books, I actually didn't end up starting what was that other book that I said I was going to read? I didn't end up reading yesterday. Kind of just had like a little break. But, oh my god, I'm so excited to start the third book tonight. Oh my god. Also, my chef good box that was delivered on Sunday got stolen from inside... Actually, no, I think they left it on the outside, which makes sense. But still, I've never had that. And I've been here for how long? Almost a year. Anyway. Oh my god, that's the last book. I think this is the one that I meant to read. The Long Way Home. And then this is the fourth. And then I also got this book too. Because I saw it was really highly rated on Goodreads. And I've seen a few people talk about it, so... I am so excited to have those. This is so thick. Oh my god, and the writing's tiny. Okay. I'm very happy about that. Okay, good morning. Oh, my battery. Good morning, everyone. Oh no, it's afternoon. It's 1pm. I haven't really vlogged today because I was filming some content this morning, but I've just pulled up to Emily Hadrill Hair Extensions because I'm gonna get some clip-ins. I was considering tape, so I just don't wanna like F my hair up. So okay, I'm gonna get clip-ins for Coachella. I think I want like really long, well not really long, but like maybe like this much longer than my hair. But yeah, I thought for one of the looks I could do just like down, long, curly, even like mermaid hair vibe. So basically I'm just going and getting like a color match. Um, and if they do need to dye the extensions, they will to like match my hair color. Um, I am going to go into La Sorella and get my roots done. I don't think I'm going to get the rest of my hair coloured because it obviously it doesn't need it and it's already really blonde. So I think they're just going to fix the roots up and I'm going next week. I'm so hot in this car. It's freaking boiling today, but let's go. Okay, that was quick and I didn't realise I was just going in to get a colour match. They didn't actually have... I don't know, I think I was under the impression where... Like she had everything in stock and she was gonna like put it in today, but it turns out she was just actually trying to color match my hair. So she has to order the extensions in. We did um, go with a color that was pretty similar to my color actually. So I'm gonna come back on Friday and she's gonna put them in for me. So yeah, I don't know why I thought today we were just like doing everything. That's why I like washed it and curled it. Anyway, um, now I'm actually heading over to Pack Fair and heading into Dish because they have kindly invited me to come in store, try on some things and give me some stuff. Literally obsessed with Dish. I shop there all the time. So when they emailed, I was like, yes. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to go there now. I also want to go into Glassons as well because I wanted to pick up some long sleeve basics because it's actually going to be quite cold in LA, like for underneath my jacket. Like I'm seeing people that are there now and they're wearing like full jackets. So it must be freezing. Um, and I don't do well with cold. So yeah, I need to get some long sleeves. I've got a few from Skims, but I'm thinking like maybe a few different colors um, to wear like under my jacket. been the shittest vlogger but this is my third outfit that I've tried on these jeans chef's kiss they fit so nice they're a size 10 so they're like severely severely oversized she even recommends going down two sizes normally I'm like 12 to 14 so I guess that does make sense um it does fit quite snug though but obviously it will loosen denim always does so I'm really excited and then this is so cute I'm definitely gonna take that to LA um, and then I just got a couple of these like just plain um, singlets They're, like really thick and rich which would be perfect for LA and I'm just about to try on the 10 in the skirt because the 12 is just sitting a little bit too loose I feel like the 10 would be better plus the skirt that I have in dish the um, ombre one is a 10 so I'm guessing it's like the same size Way better. Cute as this outfit. I'm obsessed. Love this blazer. is also in an eight. Severely oversized. Okay, that was a great success. I ended up getting two outfits from Dish. I love the outfits I chose. I chose the blazer outfit I think that I showed you at the end with the black um, satin maxi skirt. Why am I putting this on? Because I'm about to eat rolled. That I just got. Um, yeah, the black set. Oh, this open? Oh, thank God. Um, yeah, I got the last outfit that I showed you. The blazer. They just got rolled. I'm gonna literally inhale. I get barbecue chicken usually, like two barbecue chickens, but I decided on getting the poached chicken with avocado as my second one. Yum. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish this, head home, edit all the content that I just filmed, and post it. Good morning. Happy. Thursday. Wow, this week's going really slow. Um, Riley's calling me. Oh, uh, but like there's parks out the front on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there will yeah. be. Yeah. But I just park, you know, where we normally park, there's like, yeah, there's no spare ones. Okay. Got ya. Okay. How far are you? Let the lights. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Anyway, yes, we are doing a matte Pilates session, actually. Normally, we do a former. We thought, let's shake things up, do something a little bit different. Plus, we do want to do something different exercise-wise as well. I do still want to go to Rumble. I haven't been. I know I keep going on about it, but I think we're going to go next week. Um, but, yeah, if there's any other new... I don't know. We get really bored easily. I still really like Pilates. Maybe I'll go back to Hustle. I don't know. I don't know. We've come to Tar. <coughs> oh my god. That is huge. These are cool. That literally looks like I can see five people. Good morning. Today is the day I go and get my hair extensions. And yeah, I'm really excited. They were able to order me um, the right colour in time. So first I need to go to Queensland Transport, organize some stuff, and then I need to go to the warehouse and organize some more stuff. I'm just gonna slick my hair because they're gonna wash it and blow dry it anyway. Um, I just tried some new MCO stuff and I'm like freaking shook. Firstly, they duped the Dior blush that I always use 
and also this lip oil I am obsessed with. I literally put it straight into my bag, but this is like a dupe of the Dior lip oil, but like I've got nothing else on except for this and lip liner. I feel like it looks a little bit more vibrant in real life. Maybe the camera is not doing it justice, but like, what do you mean? I feel like this lighting really doesn't do it justice. Maybe let's go here. Featuring my laundry. Yeah. These colors just have me written all over it. Cheeks, lips, like, usually I would, I was saying in my stories, I would dot some Benetint on my lips and then put a clear gloss, but I don't need to do that because this gloss is like already that color. So freaking good. So yeah, that's going straight into my bag. Oh, I hate when that happens. Um, but yeah, that's my day. I can't wait to show you guys my hair. Um, I'm going to get them to like put it in obviously and show me how to put them in so I don't fuck it up when I'm in LA. But I thought as well, because obviously I want long extensions for Coachella for like the costume effect. I thought when I get back from Coachella so I can still wear them, I'm going to get them to chop them like... I feel like I don't want them any longer than my natural hair, but I just want more thickness and more volume. So I'll probably get them cut the same length, but then it'll add like so much more volume. So that'll be fun. That's the vibes. This morning, my bag. I'm gonna go get my sweater. around I think because it's like cold but not so I think I'm just gonna put this around like that and that's the vibe okay I really like my makeup today I used a fuller coverage foundation it's actually the Estee Lauder sheer tint but I'm not I'm not usually used to like wearing such full coverage like this feels like full glam to me but I really like it like considering my skin is having a moment right now like you can see the texture there especially in this light oh my god and here it's not as bad there but I still have some texture and then on my forehead I've got a bit it's definitely from all the freaking Easter eggs. I've been having them and lollies every single day. So, hello. I have had the busiest day. Running around, getting stuff done. Now I've just parked at, or well, close by, Emily Hadrill Hair Extensions because I'm gonna go get my extensions put in. I'm so excited. Um, I also realized I have 7% battery on my phone. So I'm just going to chill in the car for like seven minutes because that's where my appointment is. And hopefully, I don't know, get some more charge. I'm sure they'll have a charger in there for me to put on charge, but I'm meant to be filming content. So I need a charged phone. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I literally hate reverse parallel parking, especially if there's people behind me. And I just did. And usually I fuck up and I have to like go out a few times. I'm not like the most confident reverse parker, like reverse parallel parker. But I literally nailed that like on the first go. And there was like five cars waiting for me because it was like low key on a main road. Thank God I didn't fuck that up. I was like, please, 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 please. But yeah, I just can't master it every time. Anyway, I feel like my Botox is kicking in. So if I look better than normal that's why and plus I do have like a lot more coverage foundation than what I'm used to so I haven't really seen myself this dolled up in so long but yeah I really love this foundation it doesn't go um oily as well I find with skin tints obviously because they're on the lighter side and they're like infused with hyaluronic acid I've got extremely oily skin so when I do use like tinted serums and stuff I do have to powder throughout the day but I still love the look of serums oh my god it's sort of raining and I don't have an umbrella Anyway, this one is like 
semi matte like I haven't touched up at all today but it's like I don't look oily oh yeah I don't look oily at all it's really really nice okay well I might just sit in the car for another three minutes so I can charge my phone and then I'll head in I'm so excited I am obsessed like she did end up cutting them longer well leaving them longer because obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna either curl them or like wave wand them you know the mermaid waves so obviously when you curl them they look shorter so that's why they go like past my boobs lol I never usually wear my hair like this anyway so and they're obviously just for Coachella but oh my god I love it wow I feel like a whole new person okay I need to go home and eat something because I'm literally about to eat my arm I'm so hungry and yeah I wish I had plans for tonight but I don't so I could leave this hair in but no probably just rot on the couch all right, I just got home. Well, actually, I didn't just get home. I got home like 20 minutes ago, but... Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. Yeah, like I said in the car, I got them a little bit longer. So then when I do like curl them, they'll look a bit shorter. So cool. Okay, I ordered fish bowl because I haven't had lunch and it's five o'clock everywhere i don't even know why i opened it like that okay so normally when i eat it at home i mix it in a massive bowl because like you need the sauce to mix through everything and then this is the roasted sesame sauce i might as well just add the whole thing because i eventually do anyway and then a fork and then i just like mix it around otherwise we're eating in layers usually but I want like a bit of everything this is what it looks like bloody delicious okay I just we just got back from a walk it's currently 5 p.m. we have um, dinner at it oh, look at this we have dinner at Etsu, but like, I want to be really hungry for dinner. So I just decided to whip up. I made more of these last night. I mixed up one, two, three, four. I just want to master recipes before I share them with you guys. Cause I feel like I just haven't like they've either turned out too icy. The taste isn't there. So I've just been like experimenting with like different recipes. So I'm going to wait until I nail it. I feel like I've nailed this one this is literally looks like a paddle pop look at the consistency I spun that three times mmm that's yum I'm gonna put should I put Oreos or Biscoff maybe I'm doing Oreos Okay, I was going to do Biscoff cookies, so I think I'm going to do Oreos. So I get these mini ones, crush them up. Oh my gosh, yum. Let me just mix in. It literally tastes like a paddle pop. Oh my god, I'm not kidding. This is an Oreo paddle pop. Mmm. It's definitely more on the icier side than like creamy because I didn't add a banana. I feel like when I add banana, it makes it creamy. But I just wanted to experiment. So what's in here is some of this chocolate almond milk and then some just normal almond milk and then 
busy gal. I actually put like three quarters of this in because once I put the whole thing in and I feel like because I'm only mixing it with a little amount of liquid, it's very overpowering. Usually I make a big ass shake when I make these like in my just like neutral bullet. So I did I think three quarters of this. And then I randomly saw someone say add instant pudding. So I literally probably only added like a teaspoon of this in. I don't know why it's meant to make the consistency better. I don't know, but I mean, it works. This is probably one of my better ones that I've made. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure. That is so good. Okay, this is the vibe for tonight's dinner. I'm actually wearing this Myra one piece. It's swim as a top. I got a whole bunch of Myra, including more of the toweling pants that I wear today. Although they are in my car because I do need to get them altered, along with the dish jeans that I got, and then some other pants that I've been meaning to get altered. So I'm gonna go do that on Monday. But yeah, I got a bunch of swim as well, and this is so nice. I'm just torn on what shoes. I just, I'm not really a heel person, but this would look really cute with a little Hidden Hill, or I've got these new ones that are um, from Charles and Keith. Same sort of vibes, but obviously one's just got a heel and one's flat. So I'm not sure, but I probably will end up doing no heel, I think. I think I'm just gonna go with my trusty Dior saddlebag. And that's the look. I also really love my makeup. This is the product, by the way, that I've been using for like a more full coverage look. It is the Estee Lauder Futurist Skin Tint Serum. And I got it in PR. And then I've just got the Carbo Hoops on. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. I have not vlogged one minute today. Basically, I've just been with fam, chilling out, had lunch at Barker's, and yeah. That's pretty much all I've been up to today. I've been editing this vlog. I did get Coachella wristbands in the mail. I got them sent to mum's just in case because someone stole something from my apartment not long ago. And I don't think they shipped to PO boxes and I just didn't want to risk sending it to the warehouse because it's like a relatively new building and I just I don't know I just didn't want to risk anything going wrong so I just got it shipped to mom's that's like my safe address I am so excited so yeah I'm gonna take that in with the girls and we're gonna do like a little unboxing you can kind of like I think it's you can like build coach like a mini Coachella like it gives you like little cutouts so you can like put it on this board I don't know I haven't read anything yet I'm gonna download the app but yeah anyways so excited to show the girls next week but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here because yeah i have to wrap it up and finish editing it thank you so much for watching next week's gonna be exciting i've got some appointments leading up to going to america because we literally leave in under two weeks and i am not organized well i am but not as organized as i thought i would be i still don't have my other outfit or I still don't know what I'm going to wear for the other day. So there's that, but at least I've still got time anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Mwah.